Greetings everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss what in the world is a HAMA candle. H-A-M-A. -A. Take a look. Alright, so the chart we are looking at here is the NQ. It's a Z contract for December and it is the day we're looking at is December 15th, 2020 on a five minute chart. On the top, we have regular candles or Japanese candles. On the bottom, we have the same chart, same time frame, only these candles are the Heiken Ashi candles. Now, if you're not familiar with the Heiken Ashi candles uh, from a previous video, uh, they're very simple. They use it to, to smooth out the trends. So if, I'm going to take a look at one spot here. I, I looked at this earlier. It was a really good example um, of, of each of these uh, Heiken Ashis of how they work. So notice on here we have these green candles or, or a long and upward candle we have these three in a row okay and then we have a few red ones before another green one these ones here are all on the upward side the reason is that the Heiken Ashi algorithm or the formula used to calculate the candles and how they're plotted it just keeps you in the direction a little bit longer so maybe you have a strategy where you you say I'm going to go long as long as the candles are on the the uptrend um, and I need to have two consecutive before I get out of my trade. So here would be a good example. There's only one red candle here and there's one red candle here. So this you would potentially stay in the trade here where maybe you might look at this and say, well, this just had a, um, a you know a, a big run up and we're making we have some red candles in a row. We have lower highs showing up and you may want to consider getting out of the trade, whereas the Heiken Ashi candle will keep you in the trade a little bit longer. The second thing we have to be concerned about with these candles is that they are not real prices. So if we look uh, at this here, here is the real open of this candle, the real price of the open, 14.75 uh, roughly. Notice where it is on this candle. It's not even close. If we move this down to the open of the Heiken Ashi candle, we have 504.50, but notice it's not even close to the real price. The candles on top are the real prices. Heiken Ashis are fake. You cannot go by those for your entries, just for the trend following. So it may be good to have a split chart like this. Getting back to the point of the video, what is the HAMA? It stands for Heiken Ashi Moving Average. And what this does is very, very interesting. Uh, it, it takes the prices. Let me look at a candle where we can. Uh, let's look at this candle right here. If I can zoom in on it. I, and Every candle has four prices associated with it. We have the open price here. We have a low. I'll get that out of the way. We have our low at this level. We have our close price. And we have a high. So open, high, low, and close. Four different numbers. What the hammer candles are is it applies a moving average to each one of those entries. Rather than a moving average, let's say a 20 period moving average or 50 period moving average, where it just takes the close, you assign it to the open or you assign it to the average, which is the HLC3, high, low, close, divided by three. So it takes four averages, open, high, low, and close. You can adjust those. They don't all have to be the same. And then once you have those four moving averages, you run that through the Heiken Ashi formula and then print the candle that in that fashion. Now this is what it looks like. Take a look back at the chart. We're going to, uh, I'm going to get these set up for the full day. So here we are, and this is the full day um, for the 15th. <clears throat> Remove all our drawings here to the 15th, and I just want to line these up to get them all exactly in the right spot. Here we go. So we have our Japanese on the top, Heiken Ashi on the bottom. So let's go and apply the Heiken Ashi moving average candles and see what it looks like. So here you can see how smooth it gets. We have a downtrend coming here. We don't switch over to an uptrend until this point, and it continues until we flip back over to take our profits or we'll change to a downtrend here, and then there is back our, our profit taking or, or turning converting back into an uptrend. We're gonna get into this a little bit closer and a little larger because I want you to see what this looks like. Now, we are not entering on these candles because the Heiken Ashi moving average or the Hama candles are not real candles either, as you can clearly see, just the Japanese candles. So the entries on this, even though we have, let's zoom in a lot, we're in a, if we're in a position now, we're going to assume that we are, we are already in this position for a downtrend. 
So to get out of this position, either close a short or begin a long position, we would change when the hammer candles and this baseline here both turn to the opposite color. So they both go green in this case, which is right in this area. Now I'm going to zoom in on this because, again, we don't use these hammer candles themselves as the entries. If we look close, we can see here is our green candle and this print when it's closed and then we have a green um, line as well. Our, our baseline here shows at this level. So our entry would be here because we need, we're focusing on the close of this candle. This is not real. So this would be our long entry and we're not getting out of the long entry until both these hammer candles and this baseline are turning into red. Now this is where it gets interesting because you can change, if, if you are in a long area, you can change the, the um, moving averages associated with the high of these candles. And then you can catch it a little bit quicker. If I just look at the, the settings on here, these are the ones that I'm looking at right now. With the, These are the averages uh, that I'm currently using in this example. And these are pretty standard. I've seen 50 or 55 used for the um, weighted moving average length. But this is the ones that I'm using, okay? So they are all independent. Now, if you're in an uptrend, as I said, you may want to change the upper to a faster moving average so it will get you out of the trade quicker when price turns on you. In this case, in this example using these, we're going to, let me turn off the, um, the regular candles first so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so here we are. That was our entry. Notice we had to use the real candles. And then let's look here. Where are we actually getting out of this trade? Well, we need to have where the a red candle closes and then a red line, our baseline closes. So it's going to be right here. But this is not the real entry. I'm just signifying where we're going to at the at the time frame. So we are at the 10:30 uh, a.m. candle on this. When I put the true candles back on again, we will see the actual entries. We have our body and our wicks. Now this candle closed. Remember, this is the one that we that we pinpointed. So we're going to move this to the close of this candle. So that candle closes, and that is our exit point. So how did we do in this particular trade? In this particular trade, we have our entry here, we have our exit here, and it looks like it is 100 points roughly. It's just just roughly. It took nine hours to make this trade, but we had one entry, one exit, just using the hammer candles, and this being on the NQ, uh, $20 a point, uh, 100 points is a $2,000 a day using one contract. That's not too bad. But here's the important part. See this mess right here? This is the beginning of the US market. It kept you in the trade this entire time. What happens if this didn't curl down, if this kept right on going? With all this, this bouncing around and this volatility, you may have just gotten out of the trade, but if these had stayed and did not turn into red, you would still be in this trade. This is a perfect example, like in this area right here, where it started coming the other direction. You're, you are looking at, um, at this here, so you probably saw this peak and then came down and said, oh boy, this has already come up to this area and it's coming back down on me. I'm getting out of this trade. However, if you're using the hammer candles, you would be staying in this trade. It keeps you in a little longer, um, gets you a, 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 some easier trades along with the trends. Now this is not good if you have a choppy day. I will tell you that straight out. If you if the market is, is choppy, I don't mean this bit of a chop here, I mean ups and down, up and down, really tight ranges, happens a lot on the overnight sessions. But um, for trending wise, trending markets, it is really good to keep an eye on this. So they're called HAMA. Take a look at your platform, your provider, and see if that's available to you. Um, make the adjustments according, uh, according to the instrument, according to the volatility. You can change each one of those moving averages independently and apply it. And uh, hopefully uh, you get some good results with this. But take a look at it. Let me know what you think. As always, keep your risk managed. We'll see you next video.